April Fool's Day. My homeboys, the Funny Money Crew, Brandon Gardner and Glenn Two Times Cobbs. What's up, fellas? You forgot the Ace. Oh, AC, my yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Glenn Wood. Glenn Wood. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's funny already. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to call him <laughs> Lamont and Rollo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, Tay-Tay. Oh, damn, see. That's good, see, we got some of your homeboys in here. We might find out a few things about you. Yeah. What's going on, fellas? Good for good. Oh, man, just cooling, man. Yeah. Oh, just cooling. <laughs> I'm trying to share this microphone right now. You're trying to share the mic, yeah. I don't like getting as close to a mic. You know how mics think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But no, nah, we been chilling, man. Yeah. Been chilling, man. I've been MIA. I've been at the crib, man. If I watch another episode of Yo Gabba Gabba. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm going to jump off this downtown bridge. Yeah, you just got a, you had a little one, didn't you? Yeah, I just had a little one. He bought nine months now. Oh, yeah? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. I mean, I just, just, just been cooling, man. Got to work, man. Yeah. Comedy thing is fun, you know. It, it's, it, it had a you know pretty good time with it, but I gotta get back to real life. Yeah, it's just, uh, the, the dividends, man. You know, it's uh, you know what I mean. It ain't the highest paying thing at the time. You know what I mean. So you know, you just hang in there. You know what I mean. All, really. <laughs> I do. <laughs> right. I don't know about y'all. Oh. So so do all of you guys do comedy like in this area? Yeah, we do. Um, we, uh, pretty much what happened was uh, last year, around this time, uh, February, March, uh, <coughs> we started doing shows at the uh, Hooper Lounge on uh, 460. Okay. And uh, my man, uh, Mike Ganey, he, uh, we were out there every every Sunday for about three months. But then, you know, Sunday night, you know, the crowd started off real good, then it kind of died out. Yeah. Then from there, you know, I was trying to put a few shows together. We were at the Holiday Inn Select. Yeah. You know, that's the, that was the like the nicest show we had. You know what yeah. I'm saying? My man Tony blessed us. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now that was I mean, funny. That, that that was a good night, right? Yeah. There. <laughs> so I remember that night. I I, I came through for a brief moment. Yeah, I mean, what did you think? How, how'd you no, it's good it? stuff. Y'all, y'all are good. I mean, and you know, we're trying to put together this um, local comedy event with headlining like you guys and Be Rich and with the station behind it and all that, so we get a lot of publicity. So that's why you kind of here today, you know, kind of talk about it and kind of like let people know your name, so we can try to get your names out there and start getting a little following, so that when we do a show, we can get a, like a, you know, a big audience coming out. Yeah. That's the that's the that's the main thing. Try to get that support. They love the support. It's hard to get out here. Yeah, man. We yeah, keep at yeah. It. Because you know, I mean, it's not it's not. I mean, you don't think when you think like comedians, you don't think Lynchburg, Virginia. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of like it's up to us to kind of like put the product out there, and yeah. then, you know, it can be funny. Funny is anywhere. Yeah. Let me, let me tell you how I got started, man. I got started doing. I start, got started doing comedy in a barber shop. I remember one day I was having this horrible argument with one of my baby moms. <laughs> so I'm serious. So I, I went to the barber shop, man. It's like, what's wrong with me? And I said, man, I had to take this, this her wig and throw it out of a moving car. <laughs> so everybody just started cracking. Throw a wig up. out of a moving car. Yeah. And so everybody was like, dude, <laughs> you need to get in the stand up. And um, like I said, we had talked to Rise a couple weeks ago, yeah. and he had opened up for me. And from that point on, man, I, uh, that's how the thing got started. And I heard it was like some, some some young gunners in the city that was actually pretty funny. Okay. So um, I had hosted an event. I had a birthday party about two years ago up in Madison Heights, and I got AC here to uh, host it for me. He shut it down. Okay. I mean, seriously. Wow. Remember that you brought that big check yeah. out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, I, remember, I remember that night. I yeah. Remember that night. It was the little B Rich. Uh, Roast. It was a roast, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, was, they had a B Rich roast, and I missed that. They had a B Rich <laughs> roast, dude. Oh. I mean, it, it was. I mean, it was. It was hilarious. And then um, I started. You know, as things started progressing, you know, I, I talked to uh, Glenwood here, and then we did all three of us actually did a show up at the uh, James River Conference in the, in the <laughs> and the <laughs> secret between us, I completely 
bombed that night. You bombed? <laughs> bombed. Did you really? Yeah. Did he bomb guys? I was set off the stage. It was like oh, the Titanic, bro. dude. How, does that, how like, does that happen, man? It happens, man. Some, some nights Kobe's jump off, dude. Yeah. And so the Glenwood picked up the slack and okay. salvaged what was left. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, because comedy has to be hard, man. It I, is. I mean, you know, it's... Yeah. I, when, when people stop laughing, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when you tell a joke and it's like... Yeah, we got about 30 people just looking at you like, yeah. what's up? Like Quasi <laughs> Bear off, of, off the Muppets, man. You just want to be like, wow. And so, I mean, it's kind of one of the things, you know, every all three of us, man, it's like we, uh, you know, we, it's a support thing. You know what I mean? It's... Uh, but it's, it's, it's been interesting, man. It's been an interesting journey, man. It's, yeah. been, it's really start, it's just getting started. Yeah. You know, yeah. But I like it because it's just something new. It, I ain't say it's something new. It's something different for people to come out and see. Because everybody want to be rappers nowadays. So it's like no, yeah. not a lot of people are doing comedy. Yeah. And yeah. So, you, so you have an opening there. There's, yeah. a, there's yeah. a niche, yeah. you know, yeah. a void to be filled. But there's, I'm sure there's a demand. Because comedy's hot right now, you yeah. know, all in the country, you know, with Kevin Hart and the... Big, all the comedy tours that are going yeah. around, yeah, you know, so, they, oh, yeah, they have yeah. to, man, they have to want to yeah, laugh. times, you know, comedy, that's, that's healing, yeah. you know, at yeah. the end of the day. Yeah. So, what's the, what's the biggest crowd that either one of you guys ever played to? I have to say the Holiday and Select. How many people? That's about maybe 70, 80, yeah, 60, oh, 70 man, people. Don't, don't, don't do it. <laughs> a, a good, a strong. I mean, I know how many the place holds, so I ain't gonna say, ain't gonna say 300. Yeah, it, it was, it was okay. I mean, it got a little lively. I mean, it was spilling out. I, okay, I said, all right, so it was 100, 100 plus. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. The biggest show I ever did was uh, 103.9. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <okay. laughs> <laughs> So, uh, either one of y'all good at mama jokes? Cause B Rich has a challenge coming up yeah. from a local rapper named Pap Travis Thomas. Y'all might know him, Pap? but he oh. challenged B Rich yeah. to a mama joke, a mama joke, a mama joke off, yeah, on, on the air. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you better not talk about my mama. <laughs> <laughs> leave, my mama leave my mama out. <laughs> yeah. Is <laughs> he, he don't do the your mama? No, he don't joke. do the mama <laughs> joke. <laughs> Glimmer, and Glimmer looking serious. Yeah. When he <laughs> Like, I don't even want to. Don't go there. He said, I ain't even trying to end up on the phone. He said, like you ain't just going to just leave it there. <laughs> what about you, sweet? You in, you in, or you out? Nah, I don't, I don't, I don't do too what? much cracking of the mamas, man. Yeah. Nah. That's, the, that's the first. See, that's yeah, a lost art. That's a lost art. Mimi don't play. Yeah. You can't talk about Mimi. Mimi got you. I know you better said a mama joke to him, man. His mama come out. <laughs> what was that you saying? My mama, she, she coming at me. What he said? Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's too funny, man. So you guys, um, you got any shows coming up or any appearances that you're doing? Anywhere that you can tell people about? We're actually trying to rejuvenate this comedy scene that we got going on from yeah. last year. We're trying to. Okay. We, we definitely have some shows coming up. We ain't got no dates set quite okay. yet, but okay. we're going we're gonna to get all that official and certified. Yeah, thing. I think once you can get a, a solid venue, that's the, that's the that's key. The right. yeah. and we actually, yeah. we actually yeah. are working, you know, the station and a couple other people are working to get a permanent venue where we can do a lot of various types of entertainment. So I think once you get a place like that, and then you can start to doing it regularly, whether the crowd is 10 people, 20 people, 30 people, whatever, then it starts, people know that it's regular, then you start to get massive crowds starting to show up, and you start to build your audiences. Yeah. So yeah, so we're gonna be um, looking forward to working with you guys in the future, like, you know, having you come on and doing a little, little clean stand up. Yeah, that's the thing we kind of, <laughs> see, we kind of, yeah, really Proud. Yeah. Okay, no, that's that's what's up. Because yeah. our comedy don't have to be dirty, man. Yeah, my mom don't even come to my show. Yeah. 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 That's the thing. My mom, my mom was gonna show up to one one time. I was like, Mom, I think it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? It can get right that raunchy. Makes, that makes a great comedian. That's what makes you, you a good comedian. First. If you be able to do multiple crowds and not yeah. cuss, do it. Yeah, you should sure. be able to go to church yeah. and do yeah. some comedy. I've you know? done. Yeah, I've done. Yeah, that's a whole lot of comedy yeah. in there. Yeah. Steve Harvey does a lot of <laughs> yeah. Christian comedy. Man, I've done. Yeah. I've done church. I've done youth groups. Okay. I've done family. As a matter of fact, the, uh, when they had the Greek fest that time. Yeah. And I kept a family. You just got to be able to adapt, man. Right. So, right. Just right. Remember thing. where you're you at. Think yeah. before you speak. Exactly. Yeah. Just take exactly. Time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly.
Exactly. Awesome, awesome. Well, yeah. thank you guys for joining us today on the show, man. Um, we're looking Monday. forward to having you back. Yeah, it's Funny Monday yeah, on April Fool's, Fool's Day. Yeah. So, the jokes on all of y'all, these actually are not black comedians. They're just two white accountants <laughs> sitting here on the couch. <laughs> 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 yeah. Two white accountants sitting on the couch but disguising their voices. So, you've been fooled. No, I'm just kidding. So, you guys, Glenwood and... Brandon A.C. Garner. All right. Please he meant that. Right. He yes. meant that, Please, too, that's man. That's who he is. is. <laughs> funny Monday. So, we got Funny Money, the Funny Money crew here. Look for them. You're going to be hearing from more of them out this year. Come out to the shows when they do stuff, people. Come out, laugh. You go to... Oh. Oh, 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 oh,